Reflection for Sunday, August 21, 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time, Luke chapter 13, verse 22 to 30. Mike and Joseph were best friends. Mike was from a poor family, while Joseph was from a rich family. Being rich, Joseph had everything that he could ask for, and because of it, he grew up a spoiled man. Thus, he wasn't able to finish his studies. On the other hand, Mike, the financially disadvantaged boy, had to become a working student so that he could finish his college studies. Ten years had elapsed. There was now a reversal of roles. Mike was already a very successful man brought about by his hard work and determination. Well, Joseph, the former rich and spoiled man, became poor and miserable. The first and ending statement of Jesus in our Gospel is so meaningful. He tells us, Strive to enter through the narrow gate, and some are last who will be first, and some are first who will be last. Who are these people who will strive to enter the narrow gate, and these last who will become first? These are people who embrace sacrifice and hard work, and the first who will be last are those who love the easy or worldly life. Our discipleship with Jesus in this world is never easy and always laden with trials and sacrifices. It may seem that we are going through a narrow gate, but this is the reality of faithfully walking with Christ in this world. In fact, Jesus himself said that anyone who is truly willing to follow him must forget himself and be ready to carry his own cross. We have nothing to worry about if we continue to face a difficult life for the sake of Christ. And if our friends would scorn us because of our discipleship for Christ, so be it. This life is temporary anyway. Someday we shall depart this world, and by that time, those who are lost and those who are being scorned for their fidelity to the teachings of Jesus in this world shall now become first in the kingdom of God.